Hi guys. <laughs> what? That's what you do. We special. need to uh, work on the hi guys. Hi guys. Exactly. Perfect. Hi guys. So today uh, I brought Pierre back for a very special video. Well, it's special for me because I filmed this video about one year ago and it did very well on my channel. And it is called Man Eater Perfumes. This term is super strange, but I feel like it somehow resonated with a lot of people. I guess a lot of women want to be man eaters out there. I guess this term resonated with a lot of people. I'm not sure if I will call it the same thing this time, but I wanted to film the exact same video about one year later. So that's what I'm doing today. And I brought a special man for this video. <laughs> so uh, basically I have 10 fragrances here that for me personally are my most complimented when it comes to men. This is not necessarily my most complimented from Pierre, but it's my most complimented in general from the male species. So that's why I wanted to do this video today. And I have one fragrance in this video that is like the top, 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 most complimented. I've never received so many compliments from guys, women, everyone. So that means you're getting a lot of compliments from all the guys? I also want to mention that this video is in collaboration with Max Aroma and actually it's funny because Pierre when he was working in New York you also know the team from Max Aroma, right? Yeah, yeah, I met uh, Amit. So hi Amit, <laughs> <laughs> if you remember me. And, uh, but it was a long time ago and I feel like since then the company grew a lot Yeah, to become I guess one of the biggest uh, online retailer in the US. So yeah. congrats to you and uh, the best. See yeah. You soon, yeah, for sure. No, uh, I've worked with Max Aroma several times on my channel and I really, really like both uh, Amid and uh, Gazelle. And uh, no, I'm very happy to be collaborating with them again on this video. So every single fragrance in this list, and I swear to you guys, it wasn't on purpose. My most complimented are available on Max Aroma and that just happened this way because Max Aroma, they're a very big uh, retailer for designer and niche fragrances online. So they have pretty much everything. So it was only a uh, fate that most of them would be available on Max Aroma. So one of my favorite retailers, 100% authentic from the US, love the team, great people, and I'm very happy to be collaborating with them once again. So everything uh, will be listed down below and they'll be linking you to Max Aroma. So don't forget to check them out. So let's get into the list. So I quickly want to mention that my perfume is now back in stock available. I just quickly wanted to mention it. It's not available on Max Aroma, uh, but I just wanted to quickly give it a little shout out. And do you love this perfume? I do love it. Yeah. And it's, uh, I'm sure you're getting a lot of compliments from this one as well. Yeah, I am. A so lot. it could have been, I mean, it's in the list. It's yeah. in the list. I, that's it's why I put list. it right now. And something that I love to do is mixing this fragrance with everything. I love wearing it by itself, but I also, you guys know me, I love to layer. And I love to mix this one. So just wanted to mention it. My favorite, my fragrance, my gourmand love. So, in this video, we are ranking the fragrances from 10 to 1. 10 being complimented, but number 1 being extreme. The most complimented, the most complimented fragrance that I've ever encountered. So, let's start out with my number 10, which is a newer fragrance to my collection, but so many compliments with this one. It is just gorgeous. It is from Jovois Paris and it is called Remember Me. Remember Me is a really soft vanilla, slightly citrusy in the top. It has a kind of lactonic milky quality to it because it actually does feature a lactonic note in the scent of milk. It has some vanilla. It's very creamy and smooth and a little powdery and it has a beautiful relaxing note of green tea. And it does kind of remind me of Fragrance Sous Bois Santal Complet a little bit. They give me the same vibe, but Jovois Remember Me. It is just amazing. A lot of compliments with this one. And yeah, I definitely recommend that you check it out if you like Santal Complet from Fragrance Sous Bois because for me, they're in the same world, in the same universe, and it's just beautiful. What do you think? I really get the, you, you said that there was like a citrusy opening. Yeah, citrusy yeah, this, opening. I get it a lot. Yeah. But at the same time, there is something behind, uh, like you're saying, uh, I'm not sure exactly what lactonic means. It means like a bit milky, like there is I something like a bread. I get something like this. Like, okay. uh, I understood what you meant by like smelling what was behind, you know? Yeah. And yeah, no, it's really nice. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if I personally gave you so many compliments wearing this one, but you still, like, it's, it's, it's a very nice perfume. Yeah. 
you have to say. So this That's one, great compliment getter, really beautiful, very refined. And me, it's a very comforting scent, which I really love. Next up, we have this fragrance right here. Now, you guys should all be quite familiar with this one because I spoke about this fragrance for a really long time. Uh, I think since like the early last year, I've been talking about Gris Chanel from BDK Parfum. Now, this fragrance has blown up um, recently and it deserves everything because it is such a gorgeous scent. And for me, a highly, highly, highly complimented fragrance from my collection. This is crazy. I've actually gone through two bottles, two or three bottles of this. I and I remember you, you broke. broke. You broke. Yeah, you broke it. You broke. No. What happened? I was, I was holding a bag that you gave me and the bag happened to break uh, the bottle. So you broke it? Uh, the bag broke it. <laughs> it's gorgeous, it's milky, it's woody, it's very very woody for me, don't you think? Yeah, super woody but in a nice way, in a no, not in a dirty way. way. It's smooth, <laughs> sandalwood, a little bit of vetiver, a little bit spicy from some cardamom but not overpowering. Very smooth. Um, I mean, if you love, uh, I think if you love sandalwood, oh, like, like me, this is for you. Yeah. And I know you love, love it so much. I love and it. And so this one also, like, I'm sure. Uh, you got. I think she actually got so many compliments uh, with this one yeah. that my whole family ended up getting it. Yeah. Like my cousins, my mom. Yeah, hundred percent. All the girls. Yeah. So. I guess uh, that's a good sign. Yeah. Because uh, if someone buys perfume after smelling it on mm. you. Um, no, for sure. It's a beautiful, beautiful That's scent. Right, so nice. And a lot of you guys know it by now. And this brand is one worth checking out. Not only because we, we know David, but in general, before we even met him, we loved the brand. We loved the concept. We loved the juice. We loved everything about it. And it's a brand that personally, I think we both see growing so much in the future. So jump on it right now while you can. And it's not super, uh, super famous yet. It's such a gorgeous brand. Beautiful fragrance. Gris Chanel. Huge compliment get off. Love it. And good price point. Also. Great price point on these ones. So next up, we have this fragrance from Royal Crown. And this one is called Alchemia. Now, I haven't, I have to be honest with you guys, I haven't worn this fragrance so much, but every time I have worn it, I have been noticed by the fragrance. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna get you to smell it now. Gorgeous. She's spraying everything on top of my legs. Uh -huh. So at the end of this video, my legs are gonna smell. Like, like everything, robot. like Max and Robot. <laughs> a walking sponsorship, literally. Yeah. <laughs> now, for me, this is a beautiful, soft, rose, spicy, a little green, a little fresh, very translucent and very ethereal. It kind of reminds me of like Dior La Colle Noir. I love this fragrance. I think it's a very beautiful, feminine, uh, very girly, very pretty type of scent. This will get you compliments and make you notice in a very feminine way. It is just beautiful. It can be casual. It can be dressed up. It can be dressed down. It can be everything. I think it's a great signature scent. If you like that kind of rose peony type of scent, this one is just beautiful. What do you think, Pierre? Yeah, yeah me, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of... Um... Because for me, rose, it's very overpowering most yeah. of the time. And I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of perfumes where it's like a rose, rose explosion. But this one, it's uh, like, I think you described it super well. Like it's in a subtle way, a little like transparent. Yeah. Could be an everyday. Yeah. And uh, and still, uh, no, it's really nice. So yeah. a little like rose powdery, yeah. a little spicy, like you're saying. Me, I'm, nice. also, I'm also not a fan of rose when it's rose. Like, um... I'm trying to think of a comparison, but I don't like rose when it's like this thick, dark, burgundy, rose, spice, uh, a little musty. I don't like rose like this. I prefer rose when it's like this. But and this I have... Is, uh, sorry. No, no, you finished. No, no, this is definitely an everyday... Uh, yeah, everyday... Ca it can be casual. Perfume, yeah. As much as the That's bottle right. makes you think that this is like the most bougie fragrance in the world, uh, it can be a very casual scent at the same time and it's beautiful and the longevity on this one is shockingly good for being a translucent rose scent. So Alchemia from Royal Crown, great one, great compliment getter, very pretty, very feminine, definitely recommend. The next one that we have here is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Now Pierre and I, we just did our video together of him being blindfolded and I remember that Pierre, he wasn't like, he didn't hate this fragrance, he didn't love it, but saying that, I used to wear this fragrance, I used to have a sample and 
the amount of compliments I would receive from it were insane. And now I am wearing it a little bit and I just think it is a great scent. It's probably one of my favorite popular designer perfumes amongst the Black Opium, Giorgio Armani C, Lovia Belle. I think my favorite is Flower Bomb, hands down, because for me it is the most there is just something about it that I really love Flower Bomb and I know so many men love this fragrance. And the good thing is that it's kind of had its day of being like overly, overly, overly popular that now if you were to be wear, like if you were to wear Flower Bomb, if you would wear, if you were to wear, if you were to wear Flower Bomb nowadays, I feel like you would smell kind of different because it's been around for such a long time now and it's just gorgeous. I love it. It's sweet. It's playful. It's strong. It's vanilla. It's patchouli. It's it's a very strong scent, yet so beautiful and so feminine. So the next one is a fragrance that is very famous now on YouTube, actually. This one is really famous. Yeah. Like everyone loves it. Everybody talks about it. And for a good reason, huge compliment getter from everyone. Everyone that I've heard talk about this fragrance right here. Nishane's Annie. Anyone that I saw talking about this fragrance or anyone that had it in their collection mentioned that it's one of their biggest compliment getter because this fragrance has a crazy, crazy, crazy projection and longevity. But not only that, the scent itself is really, really nice. And I'm sure uh, that myself, I give you a lot of compliments. Oh yeah, thousands. Because me, I, yeah, I really yeah. like it. And, this uh, is a beautiful, yeah. oh, it's yeah, super, super, super nice. strong. It's a gorgeous, spicy, spicy woody, comforting, resinous vanilla. Very resinous, very warm, yeah, very balsamic. Nice. It is just gorgeous. And for me, it's a very, very unisex scent. Like, I don't think it's feminine nor masculine. And it's just gorgeous. It's benzoin, yeah, vanilla, it's like ginger. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. It's very unisex. I wore this a lot last year, like a lot. And I just adore this fragrance. Like, it is incredible. It's going to get you noticed. It's going to get you so many compliments. And uh, it smells really yummy. Like, you want to come closer to this scent. Yeah, personally, I love this one. I, I'm pretty sure you got compliments from your other mom. people. Yeah, maybe my mom. <laughs> your mom, I remember. Other people around me with this yeah. one. So, yeah, it's me. I really love it. Yeah, me too. It's super nice. It's on another level to what we just smelled before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really... It's very refined. It's, uh, it's a little complex. You know, yeah. like, it's interesting. You're not exactly sure what you're smelling. Yeah. You just feel like it's a beautiful mix, yeah. and uh, yeah, I love it. Okay. And anyways, you know vanilla, anything that's around vanilla, vanilla, it's one of the most, uh, I guess... Seductive. Uh, seductive and uh, one of the most loved notes from like everyone. Everyone. So, so yeah, I definitely see why. Uh, yeah. This is a big compliment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Pierre's right, vanilla, it's honestly, it's like a, it's a seducer. If you want to attract people and uh, stimulate them, I think vanilla is a great note to, uh, to wear. So next up we have one that I am just obsessed with. I'm obsessed with wearing it, with mixing it. Pierre's obsessed with it. We both wear it. We both love it. I cannot stop. He cannot stop. Love it so. is Jazz Club from Maison Margiela. Now, we took a long time to get this one. We took well. a long time and we actually, both loved it. Yeah, we both actually, I stayed uh, once uh, in a hotel in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, and they had the body wash, shampoo, all the creams and stuff with this perfume. And that's why actually uh, <laughs> I fell in love with this scent. Yeah. And, uh, finally got a bottle. Yeah. Which and hotel? Actually, um, 60 so. Okay. Honestly, guys, this fragrance, it's unisex. It's a sex bomb fragrance for me. This is just chic, but super sexy, but mysterious interesting vanilla boozy woody uh i just i just love it for me it has like a parisian chic vibe to it do you see it if you close your eyes honestly are you me, it's just the hotel no <laughs> me like yeah because i discovered and it's always related to your memories yeah, you know? yeah, and yeah. Me, i remember it was like uh, this hotel it had like a super nice bar looking pretty old you know with yeah. like, big curtains no it definitely nice smells tennis. like a so me it reminds me like uh yeah, literally a jazz club. Yeah. Like a uh, old bar, like woody, that smells like cigar, like rum, yeah. uh, like uh, whiskey, yeah. you know? Now, this is Something for, like for this. me, this is for a girl who 
she's very confident she's not a girly girl she wants to smell like a little kinky this is the fragrance for her it's really really incredible it's unisex if you get it you can share it with your partner you can both wear it you can mix it with different things i personally love to mix it with gris chanel and i also my favorite combination is mixing it with min min de me but that's another story i think this is definitely a perfume that can trigger memories to everyone yeah you know yeah like a cigar a bar a wood an alcohol. I, i'm sure as well it could it could trigger people's memories for a a, a dusty like library or a book or something because it has this kind of dusty woody scent to it as well i don't know what it is about this scent like an but old school vibe but it's yes, modern exactly you know, it's kind of strange old school yeah. vibe but it smells modern that's exactly what it is but it's it is really just good. incredible love this one me too me too. Jasper. And by the way, on the bottle it says male fragrance. No, it's not a male fragrance. Which it's is, a unisex uh, fragrance. Which is pretty unisex. Yeah. Like it's, I it's love unisex. when you wear it. Yeah. I love to wear it. Me too. too. And it lasts on my clothes forever. I sprayed it the other day and I can still smell this top that I uh, was wearing. Next fragrance. We're all very familiar with this fragrance. It's one of the most popular niche fragrances for women. Hands down. It has blown up since the past few years and... It is still one of my most complimented and I'm going to tell you guys a quick little mixture layering combo that I'm doing all the time and you love it, right? Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah. It is Delina from Parfum de Mali. Now, you guys know if you've watched my channel, I've been talking about this fragrance for about three years now. Literally, it's been maybe two and a half to three years I've been talking about this fragrance. It's Delina. We all know it by now. We all know how it smells. You know how it smells, Pierre. Oh yes. You had a lot of people in the US wearing it, right? Oh well, yeah, this yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Delina, guys, I don't need to mention it, but I have been recently, I picked it up and I've been starting to wear it a lot, more than uh, anything right now. I'm wearing Delina mixed with Meliora from Mali. So, I'm kind of layering them together, wearing Delina to give that powerful, peony, feminine, rosy scent. And uh, I don't know, I just wanted to smell like feminine and girly and have like this signature scent. But then on top, I'm mixing it with Meliora to give like this kind of fresh, fruity, green freshness to it. And I love it. I love this combination. You guys have to try it if you have both of them. And you like it, huh? But this perfume, it's really uh, like, it's so, so interesting because it's really addictive. Yeah. You know, like uh, you feel like you can't stop wearing it. And um uh, I know it's great. Like like I like I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, rose, rose, yeah, like too much rose in perfume. But in this one, it's so well balanced. Yeah. Like it's it's a fruity rose. Yeah, it's a and, fruity rose. Uh, and you get like it's really interesting because they don't use the most common fruit. It's lychee and rhubarb. Yeah, which gives it like a really uh, like kind of like mysterious yeah. uh, touch to it. For and, sure, uh, I agree. Super with this. super feminine. This, yeah. I mean just. I'm Look at the bottle. From the bottle, you can tell. Yeah. But super, super feminine, like super. Uh, yeah, girly. I don't know, classy, sexy. Yeah. It can be like an everyday scent, night out. Yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just so nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I love the combo, uh, uh, wearing it with Meliora. Yeah. One that's, uh, it gives it a little more like fresh. fresh yeah. Uh, vibe to yeah. it. Yeah. Because and but lately you've, you you didn't wear it for like no I didn't by wear this for quite a long time ages probably like but you've been wearing the yeah. La Rose a lot which yeah. I love yeah, La yeah, Rose yeah. Delina, the new Delina La Rose yeah I've been so, wearing the La Rose but now I think I told you guys in a recent video just quickly I really want to find like a signature everyday scent that has body and legs to the fragrance I want it to last I want it to feel like a signature and at the moment I'm kind of playing around and I started wearing the original Delina again because I remember how much I used to love wearing it every day because it lasted so much on my skin but instead I want to make it a little more unique so I mixed it with Meliora incredible so yes. but this one I think I never met anyone who didn't get compliments with it yeah 100 percent 100 percent you cannot uh, deny the success and the the love for this fragrance and there are some crazy crazy celebrities that wear this perfume <clears throat> Coming in at number two, we have Zerjov Bouquet Idil. Now I've Ideal. 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 Okay. You guys can see I've worn a lot of this fragrance and I 
I love it so much and it's a huge compliment getter for me. Now, what do you think? I really like this one. Oh yeah. It's really beautiful. It's a bit alcoholy right now, but wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dairy. This <laughs> for me is really just it's so sexy, it's sweet, it's addictive, it's cinnamon, vanilla, it's very woody, a little spicy, but it's very smooth, it's yummy, but it's not too much of anything. For me, this fragrance is very, very well balanced and it's very sexy. That's what I love about it. It's, it's a little more feminine, but it could be unisex. It's a gourmand, but it's not too much of a gourmand. It's a little floral, but it's not really floral. It's just a beautiful, a sexy... beautiful mystery. It's a beautiful mystery. <laughs> That's how I describe it. Yeah. What do you think? No, it's it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, I'm not sure exactly what you're smelling. You never know what you're smelling in this fragrance. Even though I feel like sandalwood. Yeah, yeah. Like quite a lot, but um, balanced with like something gourmand, like yeah. you're saying. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's really beautiful. But like you're saying, it's not too sweet, it's not too gourmand. No, not that's too why you really cannot inside. really tell what is inside of this fragrance. I love this one. That's it. And I'm pretty sure I give you quite a lot of compliments. Oh yeah, Pierre, like sometimes Pierre and I, I will do one. something and it's, uh, I think it's pretty funny because I think it's very typical to our relationship. Uh, when we go out for a dinner one night, we will tell each other to pick our, our sense of the night, sorry. And most of the time, well, maybe not most, but so many times Pierre, Pierre has picked this fragrance for me to wear because he loves it. Yeah, it's either nice. this or another one or yeah. Love so it. it's a great scent and massive, massive compliment getter as well. Longevity, amazing, super addictive. It's just, it's a great one. Very sensual, very sexy. Mm, love it. Are you ready yeah. to see the number one most complimented, never received so many compliments in my life. I think the other fragrance that I received so many compliments on was Alien by Mugler. And I also received crazy ones on Delina. I would probably say in my life, those were the three. Alien, Delina, and this fragrance right here, I think are my most, most, most complimented. And maybe Ubuque as well. But today we're gonna be talking about Pas Set Soir. Guys, it's almost gone. It's almost gone. Pas ce soir. Pas ce soir. I think I should mention that it means not tonight. Yeah. By the way. Which I love that it means not tonight. It's kind of cool. Because there cool. is a very cool story behind it. Yeah. That, that you told us. Well, it's actually, there's a video on my channel, I think, of uh, us talking about the story. Yeah, David, yeah. So With the interview. can go and watch it. But yeah, Pas ce soir, um, it's just amazing. It's sweet, it's addictive, it's a little fruity, it's a little spicy and tropical from this kind of quince note. It's a little bit floral. It's it's really wow. For me, it's a wow, girly, feminine, flirtatious fragrance. What yeah, do you think? Definitely. Uh, BDKs are supposed to be unisex, but this one is just super feminine. It's really feminine. And it's exactly what I love. Yeah. It's, uh, I think I've said it many times, uh, you're gonna think that we're sponsored by BDK actually. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's, it's just, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's my favorite perfume. Honestly, right you now. cannot say I'm sponsored because look so, at the bottle, I'm wearing it every day. So, so no, no, it's uh, me, you know exactly that it's my favorite perfume on you. And uh, literally, every time you wear it almost every day, and I still give you a compliment yeah. every day. So, yeah. I really love it. It's beautiful. Like you're saying, uh, it's a little sweet, but there is like, uh, like I'm not even sure what's inside to be honest. Neither am I, but for me I get like a sweet, slightly, a slightly like um, caramelly, yeah. warm sweetness. Like a little bit of like a Baccarat Rouge vibe. But not too much. Vibe. No, but not too much. I've just never received so many compliments whenever, even like when Michael came over and he was complimenting me on this and Must Therapy when I was mixing them. I've just never received so many compliments on a fragrance. Maybe, like I said, the exception being Alien from Mugler, which I miss deeply, and Delina when I was wearing it every single day. You get it, baby. I'm going to get Alien. Get Anyways, guys, Passessoir is my number one. Check it out if you want a feminine, girly, sweet, sexy, addictive perfume. This... For any occasion, also, by the way. Yeah, for any occasion, like, you can yeah. wear it every day. That means she wears it every day uh, to go out, shower, to the gym. Uh -huh. Every time to go to the gym. 
And uh, maybe because she wants to be noticed. <laughs> and did you? Is that right? But like Pierre said, it's an all occasion versatile type of scent and it works all seasons as well, in the heat, in the cold, every time, everywhere. Yes. It's Great. beautiful. That's the swap. My number one. So That's the that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video with uh, Pierre and I. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed seeing like my top picks uh, for women and what personally I've had the best experience uh, with when it comes to compliments from guys because I know a lot of people like to just hear about this and yeah so that is it don't forget to check out Max Aroma they are fantastic they're wonderful people a wonderful company they're growing so much and obviously they're 100% authentic but you have to be careful when buying fragrance online uh, that you're getting an authentic product and you're buying from an authentic retailer and Max Aroma they work directly with the brands that they uh, stock well they work directly with most of them which is very very important uh, so yeah trust Max Aroma they're fantastic and I will have everything linked down below uh, for you guys to go ahead so that is it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye see you bye bye